Hey, Islam alaikum everyone and Ramadan Mubarak. Uh, welcome to our Ramadan craft and we're excited. We have a little, we have a miniature weaving, um, weaving rug that you can use as a placemat. You can even use your little stuffed toys to when you, when you actually pray with your family, you can put your little mat down and put your stuffed toy on or you, even for your Barbie doll. So we're going to do a little tutorial on how to make uh, a little weaving rug. It's actually really simple. So in your pack, you should have two balls of yarn and a cardboard um, like this. And what we're going to do is a pretty simple craft, but we need to actually do a little bit of prep. So you, you're going to also need a ruler and some scissors. Uh, to cut and to do some marking. So let's start off with your cards. We're going to actually cut the card in half. So the very first thing you want to grab your ruler and you want to grab a pencil or a pen. My sheet of cardboard is about 11. So I'm just going to, you know, make a mark and cut it in half. I'm going to just do halfway through. So this is 11 inches wide. So I'm just going to mark it 5.5 and then I'm just going to draw a line and then you can get your scissors and you can cut it or i am going to use an actual knife so if you if you don't have scissors you can get your mum to help you with a knife and it might be a little easier to cut with a knife so i would advise that your parents should help when you're cutting all right next stage you want to grab the ruler and you just want to measure it just line it to the top of the card and you just want to draw a line. It doesn't matter what thickness you're doing. I'm just using the thickness of the uh, ruler. And I'm going to make a mark on both sides, as you can see. Now, with this, we want to actually make um, we want to actually make every half inch, or you can use centimeters as well. We want to just make a little marking along the red or along the line you just created, as you can see over here. And then you want to do it at the same on the other side. Doesn't have to be perfectly neat because this is just our, we're going to create our cardboard loom. And then once you've done that, hopefully they should line up. Just kind of simply score it, just, just draw a line. These are just guidelines so we know where we're cutting with the scissors and it'll be a nice straight line. Now when, when you're done, I'm going to cut this and then the fun will begin. So we're almost done doing this. So you can use centimeters if that helps. I have a uh, half an inch. You can even make them smaller as well, or you can make them wider. It's entirely up to you. But for now, let's just follow this. And then when you when you've made a few of the uh, rugs. Uh, or the you know the weaving you can experiment and make bigger ones little small ones you can make little bookmarks you can kind of like whatever you want so now we're going to grab our scissors and the lines that we made we're just going to simply cut along now if, if you if you find this difficult just ask your parent or an adult who's helping you to just help with the cutting because it can get a little tricky you want to flip it over and do the other side so you want to make sure you try and cut right to the edge of the line where we drew first hopefully you can see what i'm doing oh almost done all right so you should have two colors of yarn i'm just going to use one color today i actually have a gray one um so what we're going to do we're going to take Bit of string let's move this over so we can see see better you want to take some string just an extra piece and just just feed it through you're going to make sure on the other side you're going to leave a good amount of length and then we're just going to rotate it around make sure you put, pull it nice and tight all the way to the top and we're going to weave it in and out well we're just going to wrap this around the card so you can see it as such so here's the back part and then this is the front part. We're just going to simply keep we wrapping it around in the slots that we cut. As you can see, 
you can you can stop here if you want. You can make a very narrow, um, you can make a bookmark and make it really narrow, but we're just gonna go all the way across. And if you have more card at home, you can do a really big one as well. You just need that time and patience. Okay, so we're near the end. And then we're gonna pull it tight and then turn it over. And you should have a bit of string hair and a bit of string hair. Just give it maybe five, six inches and just cut it. And on the back, we're just gonna tie the two loose ends together. You can see. This is the back side. We're going to just tie the two looses, loose ends, just do a little simple bow so we can undo it when we finish and just make it nice and tight. Then I'm going to flip it over. So this is our loom we've created. Now we want to use the same piece of card. We, we should have the other half uh, left over and we're going to just cut a slot out to make our, um, uh, like, a, like, a, like a needle or such. So I'm just going to use the same thickness of this, just I'm gonna make a line. So I'm just gonna just make it roughly the same thickness so it can go through easily with a piece of card. And I'm just gonna cut it. And this should make it easy for when you feed your wool through the loom. So now what we're gonna do, now if this gets a little bit loose and it might do, you can double it up, you can cut another strip and just uh, tape it together. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to take the end of the um, yarn and we're just going to wrap it around. You don't want to make it too thick because then it will get really difficult going through. So you want to give it enough turns. I would say I've done three, four, give it maybe about 10 turns. And then if you run out, I'll show you what you can do. You just need to simply tie another piece on there and um, you can change your colors. So you can do you can do more turns if you want, but we're just gonna just leave it at this for now. So first one, you want to leave enough string on the end yarn, and then we're just gonna simply lift one end up and go over one, under one, over, and then under. And you're basically weaving in and out. So you don't want to pull this all the way through. You want to leave a bit of string on the end and just push it all the way down. Now, when you do this, the end part gets tricky. You don't, you want to make sure you go underneath. Because right now the yarn is going over. So now we want to go under so that it catches onto the last, last one. So again, we go in and out, in and out. You're gonna, it takes a little time and patience. Now, again, when you pull this through, don't pull it too tight that these end strings go in. You have to be very careful you don't do that. So to keep it nice and loose and then just pull it all the way down. Okay, you can use your hands or if you have a comb, you can use a little comb. I find just using your hands are fine. And then again, you're gonna start weaving. Now this one's going on, on top. So we want to make sure we go underneath. So we go underneath and then we go over, under, over, under, over, under. And you just basically keep doing this. And then again, be very careful. You don't pull this too tight so it moves. So just make sure you leave it nice, just leave it slightly loose and you can adjust it by pulling it and making it level. Right now, you can use two different colors, and you can you can use the back color one color. You can use red or green, and then you can do the weaving in a different color as well, just to make it really colorful. So I'm going to do a couple more more um, weaves, and then I'll show you how you can change your color. And it's really simple. So you can even do a multicolored um, little rug. So I've done like one. I've done like three three colors. Uh, three um, weaves in and out. So if you want to change the color, it's really simple. We just basically cut this end, or if you've got to the end and you want to do a different color, then what we can do, I'm going to pick out, I have red hair. What you want to do, you just want to simply tie the ends together. Right? Make sure, if you, if you can't do this, you can get somebody to help you. And you just want to make sure you just tie, nice tie, nice and tight. 
and then you want to just take the um you want to wrap it around again the the rest of the color you want to just wrap it simply around um around your cardboard so you want to make put the end on first hold it down and just simply wrap it around so now we're just going to do the same again we're just going to weave it in and out like this and again, if you want to change the color as many times as you can, it's entirely up to you. So what will happen, you will get a bit of string that will, will stick out. You can just simply trim it or you can just kind of help and just push it, weave it through like that. And then we want to go back through here. And if you want, you can switch out the color again. And there you go. So again, you don't want to make it too tight as, so that it will pull. You want to make it nice and loose. So look, it's pulling a little bit over here. So I'm just going to make it nice and loose. So be ready. You can alternate the colors as many times as you want. I'll do it one more time and then I'll show you how you can finish off. So if you have lots of different color yarn, you can make a nice rainbow. You can have lots of fun doing this. So there you go. So you've got a different color happening. Now, when you get to the end, you should have something like this. Now, I just did it in one color. I did it in gray. Now, you'll find that when you get to the end, it gets a little bit tricky. Um, I actually doubled up my one. So if you can see, there's two pieces of the card and I wrapped some tape around it because I found that the, the single one just wiggled a little bit more. It kept bending. So I'm when you get towards the end, it gets a little tricky, it gets really tight, there's not much space left. And you know, if you want, you can finish at this point. Um, or what you can also do is you can push it all the way down and make it really tight. And then um you can you you'll be able to fit one in. You can fit another uh, another um line of wool going across. All right, so we're near the end. Okay, so what do you do when we get to the end? So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to stop at this point. Now, what we do, we're, I'm just going to cut the end of the yarn so we have a bit on the end. We're going to flip it over now. And this is why we did a bow on the back. So we undo the bow. And now we're just going to take the scissors and we're going to cut the back of it. This is the fun part because now we've got little tassels on our rug. <laughs> So now we have this. So well, we've got to be careful with the loose bits. We're just going to tie it. So this is the first, the very first weave we did. We're just going to tie these together so it doesn't get lost and it doesn't unravel. So just do a simple knot. Again, if you find this difficult, you can get somebody to help you. And then we're going to pull each of these out from the cardboard. Right, that's one side. And then we're going to pull this side out as well. Okay, I have that loose end where I finished. So I'm going to tie that last. I'm going to tie this one together. Let's see. Just do a, a simple double knot. And then I'm nearly done. I'll just get that done. Okay, so now we have our rug. It looks a little bit messy and we need to finish these ends off. So where you have um where we cut on the back we're just going to take two pieces we're going to tie them so it doesn't unravel and we're just going to do a simple double knot like such that one's done and then we're going to take the next two and we're just going to do a simple knot and then it will stay together that one's done and the same with this one we'll just simply cut it I mean, we just simply um, join them together and then we can cut them all together at the end to make them one level and just to make it uh, neater as well. We're actually nearly done towards the end of our rug. So this is one side done like that. So you should have, these should be all nicely neat. Um, these are all tied together, so it should be fine. So we want to do the same on the other side as well. So we just take this side. And we take the two ends and we want to tie them together like that. 
Now, if you're careful, you can add more tassels in. So that's that one there. So I'm going to take these two. These are loose. We're just going to join them together. So we have a nice complete end. And same with this one. Join these together. We're almost done with our weaving. Oh, we got a little. We just tie this one. And then here's the last one, and we are almost done. Now you can make a really big one as well. So just to make it nice and neat, we can trim it down like this. And you have your little rug for your Barbie dolls, your Lego, or you can use it as a little mat. And here we go. There we go. And if you want, you can add on extra tassels. Just simply use one of these and then you can put some extra little bits of yarn on the end and you can make different sizes. You can make like a, a bookmark if you want. With this one, I did like four. I did it just four of these going round. I didn't use the whole thing. I just used it up to maybe four um, cutouts. So you can have a lot of fun and do different things, but whichever, um, whatever you want to do, you can even make it into a little bracelet or whatever you want. But, you know, I think it's nice as a little prayer mat for your little stuffed toys. Now, I hope you enjoyed this craft and I'm excited to see what you guys will create. Thank you for joining.